Hello everyone. Welcome to Nesso Academy. In the previous lecture we understood the auto type specifier. Now we are in this lecture and the name of this lecture is the decal type type specifier. In this lecture we will understand the second type of type specifier which is the decal type type specifier. So without any further delay, let's get started with this lecture and let's see what are the topics. The first topic of this lecture is the decal type type specifier. First, we will understand what is decal type type specifier, and through an example, we will also implement the decal type type specifier. Then we will move to the next topic where we will discuss the difference between auto type specifier and the decal type type specifier. So these are the two topics which we need to understand in this lecture. Let's get started with the first topic that is the decal type type specifier. So what is the decal type type specifier? Decal type type specifier was introduced in C++11 and it allows compiler to deduce the type of a variable from another variable or an expression without using it as an initializer. Just like auto type specifier, decal type type specifier was introduced in C++11. Also, it allows compiler to deduce the type of a variable automatically for us. We do not have to specify the type. Compiler deduces the type on its own, but it deduces the type a little differently from the auto type specifier. If we compare the decal type specifier with the auto type specifier, then the methodology is quite different. Let's now try to understand this. We know in case of the auto type specifier, the type is deduced based on the initializer. So it is important to provide the initializer. But this is not the case with decal type type specifier. In case of the decal type type specifier, the type is deduced from another variable or an expression without using it as an initializer. So, the variable or an expression is directly provided in the declaration. It is not provided as the initializer. I hope the difference is clear to you. In case of decal type, we do not have to specify the type and type deduction happens from another variable or an expression provided in the declaration itself. That's why the name decal type. Decal type refers to declaration type. This means the type deduction is based on a variable or an expression passed directly in the declaration. It will not be provided as the initializer. So, in case of decal type type specifier, we do not have to provide the initializer. If we want, we can. But initializer does not play any role in type deduction. Now we have covered these two points. Let's move to the third point. It is useful when only the type information is needed from complex expressions. Decal type type specifier is useful in those situations when we want to deduce the type of an expression or a variable and we do not want to evaluate the expression or the variable. So I hope these three points are completely clear to you. Now, through an example, let's try to see the implementation of the decal type type specifier. This is the example program. I have included the iostream header file here. Apart from this header file, I have also included this header file type info. We will learn about this why I have included this header file here. Now, let's move to the definition of the main function. In this main function, I have defined this variable var, but I have not provided the data type for this variable. Instead, I have used the decal type type specifier here. Please remember the syntax. We need to provide the keyword decal type first. Then within parentheses, we can provide the variable of our choice or an expression. 
Here, I have provided this expression 3 plus 4.5. This expression will not be evaluated by the compiler. Only type will be deduced from this expression. If we evaluate this expression, we know we get a double value. So, compiler knows that if we evaluate this expression, then we will get a double value. Therefore, the type of this variable must be a double type. I hope this is clear to you. Understand that this integer value will be converted to a double value. Then, these values will be added. And then we will get a double value. So, clearly the data type here is the double. But remember, this expression will not be evaluated by the compiler. So, now we know what's the type here. We will get double type here. So, clearly variable var is of type double. Now, let's say we want to verify this. For this, I have written this line. With the help of stdc out, I want to display something on the screen. I want to display the type of this variable. For this purpose, I have used this operator type id and to this I have passed this variable var. This operator helps us in getting the type of this variable. And this operator is available in this header file type info. So now I hope it is clear to you why I have included this header file. We need to include this header file to use this operator type id. This will give us the type. Now, if we want to display the type in string format, then we need to use this name method. Here we have this dot operator, then the name method, which is defined like this. I hope this is clear to you. So, in this way, we will get the data type on the screen for this variable. Now, when we execute this program, we will get D as the output where D represents double. This means our program is working correctly. This variable has been defined correctly. The data type of this variable is double. Now, let's modify this program a bit. Let's say, in this expression, instead of having 3 plus 4.5, we have 3 plus 4. Now, we have two integer values here. Clearly, if we evaluate this expression, we will get an integer value only. So, clearly the data type here is int. This will be deduced automatically by the compiler. We will get int data type here from the compiler. Clearly, when we execute this program, we will get i as the output, which represents an integer. I hope this is clear to you. So, with the help of these points and the program, we learned what is the decal type type specifier and how to use this specific type specifier in our C++ programs. This means we are done with the first topic, that is the decal type type specifier. Now let's move to the second topic where we will understand the difference between auto and decal type. So, what's the difference between these two type specifiers? Let's understand them one by one. Here comes the first point. Auto type specifier needs an initializer. As already mentioned, we know this already, that auto type specifier needs an initializer because compiler has to deduce the type from the initializer. So, it is important to provide the initializer when we define a variable of type auto. What happens in case of decal type type specifier? Here, we do not have to specify the initializer. In the programs we have discussed, we have defined the variable without initializing it. Clearly, we have not provided the initializer. Because initializer does not play any role in determining the type of the variable. So, clearly in case of decal type type specifier, we do not need an initializer. But we can provide an initializer. It will not play any role in deducing the type of the variable. Now, here comes the second point. 
ऑटो टाइप स्पेसिफायर इज यूज वेन टाइप नीड्स टू बी डिड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम इनिशियलाइजर एज ऑलरेडी मैंशन वेन द टाइप नीड्स टू बी डिड्यूज फ्रॉम एन इनिशियलाइजर देन वी यूज द ऑटो टाइप स्पेसिफायर वेन वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू डिड्यूज द टाइप फ्रॉम द इनिशियलाइजर देन वी यूज डेकल टाइप टाइप स्पेसिफायर so here i have written it is used when type needs to be deduced from some other variable or expression which is not an initializer i hope this is clear to you now here comes the third point auto type specifier evaluates expression used as an initializer this means the initializer will get evaluated it is not the case that only type will be deduced from the initializer initializer will also get evaluated but this is not the case with decal type type specifier we know that the expression or a variable that we pass to decal type will not get evaluated that's what i've written here does not evaluate expression only the type will be deduced by the compiler so i hope these differences are clear to you so this makes it clear what's the difference between auto type specifier and decal type type specifier also i would like to mention just like auto type specifier we use decal type type specifier in situations when the types are quite long and obvious we will learn about this when we will discuss stl templates and other complex types there we will get to know the importance of these type specifiers so with this we have understood the difference between auto and decal type this means we are done with the second topic also and this means we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i will see you in the next one